Hey crew, Conrad coming at you with another episode of Dune Dorks. What's on deck today? How about the news, events, and weather for September 2024? Let's jump right in. First up, it is the beginning of September as I record this. Look at Oldsmobile Hill. It's got this really like, neat deal going on. I just started to call this the funnel, but look at this. This is really interesting. I can't wait to go hit that. Anyhow, I digress. The news, it's the beginning of September and it is almost Dune season. That's right, a lot of events are happening. It's starting to cool off and we're just about to all get to go head back out to the dunes, whichever dune complex you love. For me, it's always Glamis. For you, it might be Dumont, Oceano. I guess you can always go to Oceano or Pismo Beach, huh? It's either cool or nice. Anyhow, I digress. So the biggest news we have is it's finally cooling off and we get to go back to the dunes. Let's jump into the next bit. The Old School Roundup put on by Scott Ailes. The old Facebook group was hot. He can no longer get in it, and as an admin, I can no longer get in it. So here's what you're gonna see on the former page is this blue O. Here's some information that was there from last year, last seasons, and so forth. This is not the page you wanna use. I wonder how Scott feels about his page getting hacked. Let's take a look. Yep, that's pretty much how Scott feels about it. I use this little blur feature on there since we're a family friendly program, but this is pretty much how we all feel about that. So let this be a note to you if you're running a Facebook group of some sort, make sure you have other admins and people that have access to it. So if you do get hacked, you won't get locked out of your own page. But I have good news, check this out. This is the new old school roundup Facebook page. Actually, it's a Facebook group. So this time around, you're able to go in and post pictures of your builds, any of your old time photos, and also find all the information for the old school roundup that's held the first weekend of March every year. And I think Scott's working on his fifth or sixth year. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but it gets bigger every year. It's held the, it's held the, it's held behind the Glamis store on Saturday. I forget. Just go in here and log in. Here's the new cover photo. Let's scroll and take a look. See ATC, some buggy photos. Yeah, this is, this is a great site. You're definitely going to want to go join this group. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's get into the... Before we get to the events, let's just gaze upon this beautiful image of the Imperial Sand Dunes Recreation Area. And it's just a reminder to me of the beauty that's out there that we've been missing all summer long. I found this group, Imperial Valley Photography, on Facebook. And I went ahead and joined it because all of the local residents will shoot photos of everything around, right? Including the Imperial Sand Dunes Recreation Area where I found this absolutely beautiful photo. Again, I need to credit Miss Wendy Miller. Okay, let's jump into the events. Starting with SoCal in my hometown of Costa Mesa. What's coming up? Well, if you know, you know. Sand Sports Super Show. I will be in attendance. We will not have a booth set up, most likely 2025, but I will be there. Look for me at the Price Designs Wheels booth, Sand Tires Unlimited, Gear One. I'll be hanging out at a few of these and we'll be passing out decals. But this is what we got going on. September 20, 21, 22, that's going to be happening. And then just two weeks later, we're going to have the Off-Road Expo in Pomona. And I've actually never attended this one. That's going to be happening on September 28th and 29th. And I don't know, maybe I'll run out and check that one out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, let's get to where I currently reside. And that is... Arizona. So what is coming up? Actually, this weekend for when recording is, I should say, September 7th, the Dome Valley Raceway, which is just right outside of Yuma, they're going to have their open track test in tune. That'll be happening from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. If you love sand drag racing, go check it out. If you got a fast car, run it over there and take a few laps on the track. It's a lot of fun. Also, what do we have coming up? On the 14th of this month, we have the Arizona Cycle Park Buckeye Drags. This is a really neat event because they've got a four lane sand drag track. They run mud bogs and they have a closed course. So if you got a side by side, you're going to want to head out and run that closed course. It's pretty cool. This is one I'm going to be super bummed to miss on the 21st because this is the same weekend as the sand sports show. But it looks like Core Off-Road Racing Series is going to have their after hours event at Firebird Raceway Park. If you've ever been there, you know they've got a really nice closed course off-road track that all the professionals get to use. Well, guess what Core did for us? They got that thing opened up for anybody that's got a side-by-side. -side. That's right, throw your side-by-side -side on your trailer, head out to Firebird Raceway Park, and you get to spend the evening racing around on a full pro course. I mean, how awesome is that? I, I'm super bummed I don't get to go. But what does it say? Run what you brung. Long jump challenge, barrel challenge, which has got to be a kick in the pants. Short course fun. Long jump. Man, that's the one that I really want to see. Okay, moving on. 
We will be vending at this event. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is gonna be up in North Phoenix. This is the RCR Sandcraft 10 year anniversary party and customer appreciation event. What do we have? Raffles and DJs. This will be on Saturday, 928, starting at 4 p.m. We're gonna have Justin Sandcart in our booth showing off their brand new RCR Sandcraft sand car specific tires. So these will be new for this season. So you're gonna wanna stop by our booth, say hi, grab some DJs decals and check out the new RCR Sandcraft tires. These are going to be really cool. Okay, so that does it for Arizona. Let's jump into our friends to the north up in Utah are putting on the first annual dune buggy sand rail sand car show and ride where old school, mid school and new school come together. When is this? September 21st, starting at about 10 a.m. We're going to have a group ride, Sand Mountain Campground. Let's see, what does it say? Bring your buggy rail or sand car to the face of Sand Mountain. Running or not running, being built, it doesn't matter. We want to see it. You know, this goes along the thing of Scott when he puts on the old school roundup. I even brought Holy Moly, my hill shooter out there with no engine in it just to show it off because it was fun. Why not, right? So if you're anywhere near Utah and this is Little Sahara Sand Mountain Campground, you're going to want to go check this one out. This is the first annual. I really, I'm bummed I got to miss this one too because again, Sand Sports Show is what it is. Okay, moving on to our next state, which is going to be Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Come on, tell me, you know what that quote is from. All right, so moving on. The two-wheel takeover is happening at the Little Sahara State Park in Oklahoma, September 13th and 14th. Looks like there's going to be some FMX. Who is that? Cowboy Kenny Bartram. This is going to be brought to you by America's Oasis. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to that website so you can take a look at that. You're going to be able to find all the information there. If you happen to be in Oklahoma, anywhere near here, go check it out. You can find information here at americasoasis.com and I'm really looking forward to getting you to check out these dunes and this resort. All the other information you're going to need, you're going to want to log in and check this out. So let's see, what do we have? California, Arizona, Utah, Oklahoma. I guess that's pretty much it for that. Let's go ahead and get into the the weather and it is just hot still so we're going to be over 100 degrees at the imperial sand dunes recreation area for the rest of the month so if you happen to be going out and doing some testing on your car make sure you're bringing a lot of water and stay in the shade it's going to be super hot out so i'll go ahead and close this out by saying thank you for watching see you in the dunes